There was a Queensland, Australia YouTube channel made in 2010 called NQ Ghost Hunter, who claimed to want to document how a poltergeist was affecting them in their home. One such video was this one, titled, Poltergeist Activity 05 June 2016. A girl sits on the chair and gets pulled smoothly across with no strings. They go into the next room, and it doesn't work as smoothly, so maybe whatever is in their house is at its strongest when it's in the closet, which to me signals some Something bad could have happened in there. A much older video, titled 8 Jan 11, is even harder to explain. What do you put under a couch to make it do this? And at the very same time, this is going on in their kitchen. I've seen videos where one or two items fall off the shelf, but I've never seen everything come flying out at once, and then somehow this item moves a second time after being thrown to the floor. I feel like all of this could have been done using some elaborate camera tricks I've never seen before, so please let me know. Oh, and his blog and his YouTube channel have both disappeared, so who knows what's become of him since. Perhaps the poltergeist has finally won. A YouTuber named Steve Huff records what he suspects could be a paranormal sighting at the Longleat House in England. Built in the late 1500s, a spirit descends the steps and then continues to walk in midair in heavy, plodding footsteps. Some people are claiming that this is some kind of hologram projection, while others say this is real. If you've ever been to the Longleat House in England, then let us know if this is just a tourist attraction, so we can settle the rumors once and for all. YouTuber Memoria Sobre Natural INC believes they were guided to this location by something paranormal. And maybe that's true, but it doesn't seem to want to let him in. At first, it seems like something might just be pushed up against the door blocking it. But then you see movement. Watch the crack in the doorway. Whatever's inside doesn't seem human. Cara, você é louco? Eu juro que eu achei que eu tinha visto um demônio aqui agora, a hora que eu fui abrir a porta. Cara, meu coração foi a mil aqui, ó. Bom, pessoal, eu acho que... Phew, it's just a ball. Or is it? I think this horned beast is more demon than it appears. YouTuber David DeFranco dramatically descends the stairs into his dingy cement brick basement, saying after four years of wondering what's in that room, it's time. With a cat as his bodyguard, David notes that it's 10.49 p.m. Not sure why you'd choose to explore a hidden room at night, but David's got grit. He notes that he's always wondered what's in this hidden room and that his cat has explored it several times and seen some serious stuff. So David is curious and nervous. It's probably nothing, but you can't help but wonder, he says, using his night vision camera. He moves the piece of plywood, blocking the hole in the wall, out of the way, and he enters. He calls the place creepy before asking hello to no one in particular. It looks like another crawl space, but there are some intriguing bits and pieces inside. An old bottle, newspaper, dripping pipe, small plastic containers, comics from the Philadelphia Inquirer date back to April 1st, 2001. So someone has been down in the crawl space not too long ago. David recalls hearing noises coming from the crawl space. While David didn't discover anything epic beneath his home, he did at least explore it before moving out. A paranormal investigator who goes by Bakersfield Paranormal Services sadly lost his mother and is filled with grief. 
Even though he is very distraught, he wants to communicate with her. He goes to the cemetery with his equipment and approaches his mother's marker. At first, he asks some basic questions and has her respond by playing with the lights. Are you always around me and my, my wife and my kids? Thank you. Emotions there, Mom. Do you love my wife? Okay, I got it. I, I got it. After a while, he pulls out what he calls a ghost box, which supposedly allows his mother to communicate using various radio frequencies. He believes other spirits are crowding around the box and keeping his mom from communicating. Mom, can you please speak to me? You're trying to? He thinks she says, I'm trying to, but I think it kind of sounds like she might be saying, I love you. Listen to it again, and let me know what you hear during this part. A paranormal investigator who goes by Bakersfield Paranormal Services sadly lost his mother and is filled with grief. Even though he is very distraught, he wants to communicate with her. He goes to the cemetery with his equipment and approaches his mother's marker. At first, he asks some basic questions and has her respond by playing with the lights. Are you always around me and my, my wife and my kids? Thank you. Emotions there, Mom. Do you love my wife? Okay, I got it. I, I got it. After a while, he pulls out what he calls a ghost box, which supposedly allows his mother to communicate using various radio frequencies. He believes other spirits are crowding around the box and keeping his mom from communicating. Mom, can you please speak to me? You're trying to? He thinks she says, I'm trying to but I think it kind of sounds like she might be saying, I love you. Listen to it again, and let me know what you hear during this part. Two friends return to a spot in the woods where they think someone could be living. Yesterday, they were playing tag in the small clearing, and it looks like somebody was close to them the entire time. A trail of random trash leads them to a morbid discovery that they now truly regret seeing. Dude, the hand is messed up, dude! Nailed to the tree is an old doll with black and purple clothes and white hair over its face, which you never get to see. Still, the doll gives off such a strange feeling that they refuse to touch it with their bare hands probing it with a stick instead. One of them hangs back, but the other needs to see what's under the long white hair. He pushes the filthy doll hair aside. The doll's face fills him with regret, and he is too stunned to worry about the camera, but his reaction really says it all. Oh my f God. Later, he says that the doll's face was completely burnt, aside from driving a nail through its middle. The doll's fingers look to have either been chopped or chewed off one by one as well. Whether this was a group of kids or a traveling wanderer, whoever rips apart dolls for fun is definitely not the type of person you want roaming around a minute from your backyard. And on top of that, I'm not even sure if this doll is safe to show because it could very well have been cursed. When things go haywire in your own home, it's easy to jump to a paranormal conclusion especially when there appears to be poltergeist activity. Posted to YouTube in January of 2012, the uploader explains, This is real footage taken at my house. As you can see the way the bottle moves, this is inhuman and impossible for a human to make a bottle move and gesture in these motions. This is totally real and scary. So if you are faint of heart, do not watch this, please. This is video of real paranormal activity. In the video, the men enter the kitchen, where a bottle on the floor appears to be rolling around of its own accord. After they enter the room, it stops for a moment before spinning around again. It twirls on its side and then stands straight up on its base. One brave man picks it up and puts it on the kitchen counter, which is where the clip ends. 
YouTuber MRL Wop2 in the comments suggest there's helium in the plastic bottle, but most people are more alarmed by the zebra pattern cupboards than the so-called ghost. Jenny Chanel writes that zebra print would make even a plastic bottle want to escape a room. So is this a supernatural case or simply a case of terrible interior design? Only that soda bottle knows. A YouTuber named Alone in the Dark takes a two-hour tour of a haunted hospital that has been out of commission for a long time. He repeatedly hears noises and gets signs that he is not alone, like here for example, when you can see a light appear out of nowhere in response to his voice. Need to hear a ringing. At one point on an upper floor, he finds a long streak of dried red liquid running down the wall from a nearby ceiling vent. It almost looks like someone was grabbed from above by something terribly strong and pulled up into the ventilation duct where they met a horrible fate. Looks like blood. Something else strange about this video is how all of the cabinet doors that he passes by seem to be flung open. Cabinets opening by themselves is a classic sign of a haunting, so take that for what you will. When he is finally ready to leave, the paranormal events really pick up in ways you'll never guess. There's a lot more going on in this thing. First, he hears an ambulance pull up to the defunct hospital, and then he sees shimmering lights on the ground. It could just be broken glass reflecting into the beam of his flashlight, but then again, it could be a paranormal energy signature. Either way, the timing of the ambulance siren is too much of a coincidence for me to believe this was anything normal. This demolition house of horror has these urban explorers walking on eggshells, published to YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in May of 2021, Joe and Chris work their way through a pair of houses being torn down for demolition. Joe says they were contacted by the workers who were cleaning the houses out and were told they felt a presence here. And you'll definitely feel it too as you watch the video. Whatever is in these houses is making its presence known through whispers. As the explorers wander into the bathroom, you can hear incoherent whispering. A moment later, a man's voice says yeah, when asked if the spirits in the house will talk to them. Will you talk to us if there's spirits here? Later, more whispering is heard. May you give us some clues? And later again. indiscernible what the voice or voices are saying. What is distinctly heard, however, is a growl that happens when Joe is positioning the camera down a staircase. What do you think is hanging around these demolition houses, and what will they do when their homes are destroyed? Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows, because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.